Some days you just have to give yourself permission to play with your new machine. Hi, I'm Sarah from SewingMastery.com and I'm working on just learning some of the new things that are on the Bernina 790 Pro. And in exploring the alphabets, I found a new font, the kind of a quilting lettering font that has been added. Now we have had a variety of fonts over the years and they've just kind of keep adding and adding. So the monogram one that's been there for a while and that's kind of fun to use and connect with the directional stitches. And so what I did was I just opened up the memory which is the plus at the lower edge of your foot and I just went ahead and started adding letters. Now you can see they kind of start showing up vertically here but if you touch that little arrow that pops this out you can kind of see and watch it spell out across the top instead of tilting your head sideways. So I was playing around with both the standard font, the one that I'm used to always using, kind of that first one. That's the one on the top row. And then it playing along with the newest font, it has a little bit more of a, a jagginess to it, kind of a fun little retro look, um, similar but different. I was also playing around just learning how to use the laser, like when do I use it? What am I looking for? How do I guide it and work with um, what I've got? So I had like two rows of stitching going um, from just a previous sample. So I was kind of just seeing, okay, how do I guide this? Now, again, I have to just sit down and play. You too need to sit down and play. And just because you have a piece of fabric and you fold it in half, so you're always sewing on two layers, you're gonna notice that not all my letters are perfectly connecting. They're, they're a little misaligned. And you know why? Because I didn't use any stabilizer. It's kind of a squishy type two, uh, flannel, and that can kind of move around. So when we talk about making a stitch book and we talk about the importance of using two layers of tearaway stabilizer, this is why. So if you've always kind of wondered why your designs aren't turning out perfect or your lettering isn't perfect, it's because you don't have the right stabilizer. I was also playing around with some of the designs in the, there's a category called the Skyline Stitches. So in here, there was some fun stitches. Um, th they're mostly for like cities and fun things, but I came to the end and found that there was kind of a sewn with love and a handmade with love design. Now do keep in mind when you pick one of these, oh, I don't need to be in the memory, so let me go ahead and get out of here and close the memory down. Then when I go into the Skyline Stitches, it's just like picking them like normal. Yes, there's lots if you don't open them all the way up, but there's that last one. Is One thing to look at when you're looking at your decorative stitches is how long the repeat is. Well, because this is one huge repeat, it shows 128 millimeters long. So just kind of keep that in mind as you go to see, is that gonna fit or am I gonna sew it out more than once and just let it end where it ends? But that does give you an idea of how big something is. But I love that they've gone ahead and just made it so all I have to do is pick it and it's ready to go. So if you ever are looking for something fun to stitch out, there is some other fun sayings for sewing themed quilt labels or whatever you want to put on there. So I hope you'll just take some time, uh, find a, a fun sewing theme uh, or name or your name or grandkids' name and just start to play and stitch out all the fonts that are on this machine. If you haven't checked out our links to how to create a stitch book, definitely do that. We talk about the stabilizers, we talk about threads and kind of how to go about taking time to stitch out all these stitches. So like I have been doing today, it's great to play. And now I have a better understanding of what is inside this machine. I hope you'll take a look at all the links we have below this video for our online classes and all the additional free video tutorials we have done on the Bernina 790 and all the new ones we have done on the 790 Pro. Happy stitching!